The annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoes fundraising event for Jillian's Place saw over 200 men come out to the Penn Center to show their support. So Walk a Mile in Her Shoes is the men's march to end violence against women. Uh, we have men from every walk of life uh, that come out to walk a mile in female footwear to end violence against women. We have so much that goes on here, a lot for the kids to do. We have face painting and a magician and um, we have a, a man on stilts walking around here uh, interacting with the kids. Um, it's a great day for teams too. We have a lot of teams walking today so it's a great um, team builder for corporations to come out and spend the day together. Uh, everybody gets lunch and it's a really, um, uh, there's a lot of camaraderie that happens on, on Walk a Mile and Her Shoes Day among the men here. Well, this is a fantastic event. I'm looking at the turnout today and we're so proud to be part of this. It's our first year and it seems a really natural fit for us. What we're doing today is we brought along our tow truck. We're spelling that T. And instead of fixing flats, we're going to be handing out flats today to any of the guys who need a little bit of help because they just can't uh, get through that full walk in their high heels. There were many groups walking to raise awareness and funds, including a Reef Morani's Army, who will be holding a special event on November 8th. Uh, we're doing this for our beloved son, Arif Morani. He was 22 years old and he passed away last Thanksgiving Monday, 2013. He was hit by a drunk driver. Uh, he was very passionate about abused women and their children, and he was very focused and concerned about it. That's why we're doing this walk here today. We have a huge event happening November the 8th at the American Lions Club, whereby we, were, we are hoping to cut a check to Jillian's place for at least $20,000. Kim LaRondell knows firsthand the support that women can receive through Jillian's place. It means a new life. Um, Jillian's place was the first step in saving my life, so it means a lot and it, any woman should be able to go there and feel safe and move forward. Violence comes in many forms. There's, it's not just about a man putting his hands on you, it's about beating you down internally. There's verbal abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, and none of it, none of it is good. It, you don't deserve that, you deserve better. And I promise you if you pick up that phone and you make that first step to it'll be a new step in your life and you'll be better and they can help build those broken pieces whether they be on the outside or inside. For more information visit JillianSplace.com. In St. Catharines for The Source, William Kelly.